Okay, so yesterday we read um, chapters three and four of Miss Crump Cracks Me Up. And we found out that they're staying in a natural history museum, and he's like, that's so boring. Well, then um, he saw dinosaur bones, and he thought, that was pretty cool. Um, they saw the gigantosaurus bones, and then um, they saw something even cooler than that, which was the candy machine. Um, but they weren't allowed to have candy. And then there was a yak that scared them because it was moving and talking and it happened to be Miss Krupp, um, their tour guide, and she was in a yak costume. So um, we're going to read chapter five today and is The Scary Dead Zombie Buffalo. Miss Krupp took a bunch of flashlights out of a box and gave one to each of us. Then he went off to search for the missing T. I forgot the T-Rex was Everybody was whispering and slinking around like secret agents. It was cool. Me and the guys pointed our flashlights up from our chins and made scary faces at the girls. The first floor of the museum is where we keep most of our dinosaurs, said Miss Krupp. I had diorama once, I told her. My mom gave me some yucky pink medicine, and then it went away. That's diarrhea, dumbhead, Andrea said. You had diarrhea. So did your face, I said. The diorama things were cool. Each one was a little room with animals, animal statues, and scenery behind glass. We saw pandas, gorillas, monkeys, beavers, reindeer, bighorn sheep, polar bears, and moose. The sign next to the moose said it weighs a half a ton and eats 20,000 leaves a day. That thing should definitely go to the Weight Watchers. But next to the moose was the buffalo, and it was even bigger. We pressed our noses against the glass so we could see it better. It looks so real, Andrea said. It is real, Miss Crump told us. These animals aren't statues. They're the real thing. That means they're dead, asked Michael. That's right, said Miss Krupp. Just then, I thought I heard scary music playing in the background. It was like a movie I saw once. Somebody said the word dead, and scary music started playing. I'm scared, said Emily. If that thing was a zombie buffalo, I whispered, it would come jump out at us, and then we'd become zombies too. My uncle lives in Buffalo, said Neil, the nude kid. Your uncle lives in a buffalo, I asked. Why doesn't he live in a house like a normal person? It's Buffalo, New York, said Andrea. I knew that. I lied. It would be weird to live in a buffalo. I know a song about buffaloes, Emily said. Would you like to sing it for us, asked Miss Krupp. Emily nodded and began to sing. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the cantaloupe play. Well... Everybody just about died laughing, and I slapped my head. It's not cantaloupe, dumbhead, I told Emily. It's antelope. Cantaloupes can't play. They're melons. Emily started crying, of course. What a crybaby. I bet she would have run away, too, if it weren't, if there weren't scary dead animals all over the place. Miss Krupp made us tell Emily we were sorry. Next to the buffalo was another diorama with some skunks and, a, and an opossum in it. These are nocturnal animals, Miss Crump told us. Does anybody know what nocturnal means? Needless to say, Miss Sparty Pants Know-It-All was waving her hand in the air. Nocturnal animals sleep during the day and come out at night, Andrea said, all proud of herself. Why doesn't a nocturnal animal fall on her head? That's right, Andrea, said Miss Crump. Some people claim that our nocturnal friends walk around the museum in the middle of the night. That's scary, Emily said. It is not. That girl thinks everything is scary. Miss Crump showed us the rest of the dioramas on the first floor, but we never found the missing T-Rex. What's in that room, Miss Crump? Andrea asked when we passed a door next to the stairs. Oh, that's a secret room. 
must have been fried pan. Ooh. What's in the secret room, we all asked. If I told you, said Miss Crupp, then it wouldn't be a secret. Please, 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 please. Anytime a grown-up won't tell you something, just say please until they can't stand it anymore. That's the first rule being a kid. Hmm, Miss Crupp finally said. Are you boys and girls really good at keeping secrets? Yes, we all shouted. Well, said Miss Crupp, so am I. And she started climbing up the stairs to the second floor. Bummer in the summer. All right, so that is all of chapter five. Tomorrow we will read chapter six, The Hall of Dinosaurs. See you tomorrow.